a datum right. for us. Yeah. Right. So yeah, so this is this is not too bad, is it? Okay. If, you, if you actually have your eyeballs right. peeled, it's not too bad in terms of looking at bed forms. So, so here we're looking at a lot of a lot of small scale bed forms. Looks like uh, low angle and a tabular cross stratification, but a lot of it's got tangential lower contacts. So it looks like you know migrating bar types of stuff. But whether those are fluvial bars or whether they're offshore <laughs> sand migrations, that I that I couldn't tell. You. Uh, I mean, you, you know, the, I think what's kind of interesting about this fluvial versus this offshore discussion is how much the, I mean, yeah. the processes are actually. Yeah. I mean, they're so similar sometimes. They are. Especially when you get like channelization within. Right. Uh, I mean, just channelization and then just wave deposited yeah. sediments are. Right. We don't see any conglomerate in this in this clip. I don't think I've ever seen any conglomerate. So there's no pebble layers or nothing. And that that would argue that has argued against the kind of sediment movement. Then you get a flat type river. Oh, there's some nice ones. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, I guess it depends on what level you want to zoom in on, right? We all sort of agree that it's a coastal-ish setting. Yeah, right. That's where there's a delta, <laughs> it is. Yeah, you know, all the angles can be right. 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 That's right. That's right. right. side kinds of stuff going yeah. on too. But they're not oriented. That's a plant right there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. So we've got that's plant that's debris. As, that's, that's as much as identification as I can right. do. That's but. about as best <laughs> we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, <laughs> so, yeah. You might want to scale too. <laughs> huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or I was going to say yeah. like Ian's finger up there. There we go. There we go. Nice little tiny guy. Cool. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. They're all just chunky. Yeah. So it could be flakes. Yeah. So it could just be flakes of plant debris. Flotsam. Yeah. So no matter what, it can't be that far from the land. Yeah. Yeah, chunks that large don't make it very far. Nope. A couple different levels of them here. So. Oh, that's another nice one here. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That almost looks like lepidodendron. Well, that wouldn't be out of line, would it? No. Yeah. It's supposed to be here. So when I see a little, like, almost... We'll see We'll see lots of lepidodendron roots over like that. Right. I think it for sure. Or skin yeah, area has, or whatever. No, there's no question. You're right. Yeah. Can you f zoom in on that with your device? No, I, that's a good That's a good yeah. lepidodendron lateral root. Yeah. Yeah. So stigmaria? Well, you know, if they still use that word, Right. That's what it is, yeah. Right. Lepidodendron yeah. is usually safe for the, this, the bigger the, the plant. And now that you're saying this, John, I think we've got a rooted horizon here. Yeah. Pardon me. So I think all this stuff is relic. Yeah. It's relic lepidodendron root wow. structures. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't think there's any question about that. So, so we have that means we have a hiatus. A hiatus. Yeah. For sure. Terrestrial. Nice. For sure. Unless this is a huge log jam. 
<laughs> unless, it's it's a huge, it, unless it's a huge uh, concentration of. Or no, oh, now that I'm saying that, I see it everywhere. I was just yeah, it to, is everywhere. I was it just is, trying to. It uh, is everywhere. But I was it, just trying to make you know. Until you found that nice little relic. Yeah. It okay. looks superficially like some kind of stain. Yeah. But no, this is definitely. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So in the middle of so this, lots of little, it's either lots of little floods barren. or lots of little hiatuses here yeah. that are right. They're still in that nice sand. Yeah. So there's not like a real. That's interesting. Very very interesting. So I suppose it could be a bar. Right. And had some I mean, there's still kind of you can see the cross bedding in there too. Yeah, and over here. Yeah. As well. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Nice there. sort of yeah. medium angle mm -hmm. tabular stuff. Right. I know in the gypsum mines they have in the in the dolomite a lot of yeah. leopard dendron that's float in, obviously float in. But if these are actually the roots, that is interesting because that's a big horizon. Very cool. Hey, morning. Okay. In color and it's sort of shovel shaped. Good morning. Excuse us. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Maya, we're not going to do that. Uh -huh. What a cutie. <laughs> oh. Mommy? Yes. I need you that can, one. Okay. Oh, and then yeah, look at this big, nice lenticular. There you yeah. go. Uh, yeah. These rocks were kind of slippery. Uh, where are these? Where did go to? Uh, uh, I, when I went to admire the dog, I All right. lost uh, it. Here it is. Right there. there it is. So the yep. question is, is that a hinge on it? Right. I can't see well enough. I can't either. If it has a hinge, then it's not lingula. I think that'll well, I mean, I think it's too, I think it's too, I, I don't think it's lingula. Okay. I think it's a... Uh, because Doran Eshman report lingulids yeah, down in the, in the shale the faces. Place. Right. But I, I feel like I almost we're, see. We're unable to see them at the other locality they, because it only they're oh, yeah, look, look at that out. this stick marries too yeah. I'll just, I was gonna check over here it's also something that looked interesting so we were agreed that's not a lingular brachiopod I don't think so yeah I think it's got, I'm not a brack dude it's but what looks to be a hinge. it does and it, it also looks like it might have teeth yes. or ribs yeah, ribs too. so it's wrong shape too, I guess. yeah yeah but you know even like at sleeping bear dunes you have little bits of, of uh, shells that are blown by the wind that run right. all the way up over the top of the dune and onto the lee side. Hey, so, Ralph. Yeah. These aren't some sort of trace, are they? It's hard to tell. I can't, I can't. It's hard to tell. I, I want to make That fistula might have been present, but you can see on maps they had locations of former pits. And those were those that became the town parks over the successive years. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got more plant more of these plant layers above it too. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I want to get with you. Hey, look at me. Cheese. Hey, that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> Here's another ironstone. Here's another concretionary horizon down here too. Yeah. With lots of little ironstone bobs. Coming out. Right. What makes it decide it's going to yeah, make it about those horizons? <laughs> right. So you wonder. Now over over there, you can see some that are definite that look like they're par paralleling vertical root trees. So it looks like it's a redox. Things going on in roots in root soil. What, what a person would say about that up there, but maybe, huh? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Did you see the gold in that? <laughs> I'm totally gonna come back, especially for the that um, spot we were just pointing out with the. I, I, oh, yeah. really? I mean, I, the Google Street View app does a nice job kind of approximating that. It'll be better, higher quality, more. Or the footage that isn't linked to the app. Or the footage is linked to the app in Google Street View. I mean, you can. You can download it though, right? Can you do it in 360? I don't know whether you want to call this. 
a little bit of hummocky or whether that's just sort of a migrating channel or what. I, 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 once again, I'm, I'm at the limits of my interpretive ability there. But it's cool. Yeah. yeah. And it really stands out. It does. Yeah. I guess, it, I mean, the scale of it makes me think more migrating. Uh huh. Like migrating bars in the yeah. channel. You've got a little yeah, bit of a yeah, it's incision. Kind of like a like a lateral accretion. Yeah. Yeah. Structure to yeah. It. I mean I'd buy that. Yeah, I mean and it's such a sharp contact yeah. with the yeah. bed below. Yeah. But it does indicate it's a little bit of a dynamic environment, right? Yeah. You've got things yeah. Shifting back and forth. This is an unexpected surprise around the corner. Really cool. Yeah. What do you think? Coastal. I mean, your your comment about okay. this being overall coastal that makes good sense. Mm -hmm. It'd be, it would be interesting sometimes for us. Knock off the sample. Oh, you go through no. the vertical sequence here and then look at the side. Bring it up. See if there's really any change like that. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. There's very little right change. Right in the back, probably. Oh. 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 Yeah, the grandson living with us. The food we all have. It's kind of cancer for coffee. Mm -hmm. It's too very responsible. Squishy. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is where I'm yeah, so pull a nice chunk of. There. Yeah. Oh, that's back in the sand. Yeah. There's some nice parallel joint sets you can see going off into the distance in that direction there. Some really nice parallel sets of joints here. You can see going off back into the into the foreground. See that one there. Right? Same angle as that one there in the background. like a zillion paleo current directions and so has rose diagrams for like the entire area nice nice yeah. that's all i wish that his like raw data was published somewhere yeah <laughs> but i mean maybe it's in an archive at western yeah because like he cross bedded sandstone between like 20 and hundreds of paleo currents